Drake is notorious for talking about women in his raps, although it's hard to pin him down to one specific girl. Over the years, he has rapped about a lot of women by name on songs. So recently he did an interview with Lil Yachty where he said that he regrets most of those bars. Sometimes when I've like said girls' names in songs, mm -hmm. maybe those are the two things that I look back on. And I'm like, ah, maybe I could have done without like mm -hmm. shitting on people for age, mm -hmm. like, or or saying like, you know, or like disrupting somebody's life. But in this video, let's take a look at all of the times Drake has actually name dropped women in songs. The first song that comes to my mind is Shot For Me, which is an absolute classic off of Take Care, where he double name drops. It's a shame you didn't keep it, Alicia, Katia, I know that you gonna hear this, I'm the man. Katia is one of Drake's exes who was actually featured in the Best I Ever Had music video also. And Alicia is another one of Drake's exes who Drake had already been name dropped on his song Successful. And apparently it was pretty serious because he was thinking of putting a ring on it at one point. Wise words from a decent man back when I was trying to put a ring on Alicia hand. But then again, this was probably just one of the 42 other women that Drake has thought of proposing to. And then like people being like, you're sick you thought of proposing 42 times like god this is, yeah do we not do we not understand i actually have to clarify yeah like it's like <laughs> do we not get that this is kind of like a it's a conceptual art piece i don't know like i know i know it's a joke on redemption drizzy went on record to name three women back to back to back on lines sydney gave up on me when i went missing sid had a baby and treated me different erica sued me and opened the business the most interesting of the three is erica and while you can make jokes about drake's writing all you want save it for another video because here the man is living his raps erica lee was featured in the voicemail on the classic song marvin's room which i've cried to a few times she sued Drake for co-writing credits or royalties on the song after it became a huge success. And Erica said that Drake texted her messages saying things like, you basically made that song. But Drake's side also said that she consented to the use of her voice. Either way, it doesn't really matter because the case was settled and we got more names to go through, so let's move on. From Time is another triple name drop from Drake. First, we have Portia from Treasures. Uh, thinking about Texas back when Portia used to work at Treasures. Then we have Summer at Michael Kors. When I got Summer on Michael Kors with my mama's debit, a week of temp flex and I never forget it. Some people think that he could be referencing Summer P. Walker, who was DJ Drama's ex and also was mentioned in the I'm the Plug song off of his mixtape with Future. And this is during Meek and Drake's beef and DJ Drama had a role in that. So it could have just been a shot at Drama through that. And it really ain't no thing. I got some up in this thing. I just dropped a jig in my Red Bull and it really gave me wings. But the most prominent name drop on From Time was, of course, Courtney from Hooters on Peachtree. The one that I needed was Courtney from Hooters on Peachtree. I've always been feeling like she was the piece to complete me. Drake is usually pretty vague with his women, but I have a feeling that this could be who Drake was talking about when he mentioned blowing up a girl's life for a lyric. Because I mean, not only did he mention her exact work location, but he also mentioned her fiance, who was probably not super pumped about the name drop. But hey, at least it looks like she made some money from it because there's even a flyer with her on it that references the song lyric. Drake is also known for naming actual songs after women's names. There's Bria and Cece's interludes on his early projects. Projects, and there's Paris Morton Music 1 and 2 where he says, These are usually just some thoughts that I would share with myself, but I thought it's worth it to share them with someone else other than Paris for once. I text her from time to time, she a mom now. I guess sometimes life forces us to calm down. I told her that she could live with me if she needs to. I got a compound, but I think she's straight. And there's Madonna, who he also referenced on Lil Yachty's song. Back home, I know Prezi, I'm Obama. Hey, I condone the drama. Hey, I told I'm Madonna. Hey, this was, of course, in reference to Drake's infamous kiss with Madonna, but some people did think he was saying he turned down Madonna, and by the look on his face, that lyric also seems pretty possible. But there's other famous name drop mentions as well. We have a stripper named Malaya, and then Black China in the same bar way before she was who she is today. Someone tell Malaya I'm on fire, she should work tonight. Call up King of Diamonds and tell China it'd be worth the flight. I'll be at my table stacking dollars to the perfect height. Apparently, Drake used to fly Black China out all the time, and there's even rumors that they were seeing each other behind Tyga's back for a long time, which, of course, would spark the beef between them. Speaking of beefs, Drake also name-dropped Karuchi, which was probably a shot at Chris Brown during their beef. 
He had a bunch of subliminals suggesting that the two had a brief fling while Chris was locked up for just a couple of months. Breezy later confirmed that the two, at the very least, had gone on dates. It's for my niggas on that bullshit in and nonsense. It's for my dogs that go karooche with the chopsticks. Woo! There's Nicki Minaj. I love Nicki Minaj. I told her I'd admit it. I hope one day we get married just to say we say we did it. And girl, I'm girl, I'm serious. I'm with it if you with it. Cause your verses turn me on and your pants are mighty fitted. Oh. Drake name dropped Nicki a lot early on in his career. And while he was probably joking about the marriage part, I do think if she popped the question to him, he probably would have said yes at the time. On Tuscan Leather, besides talking about his relationship with Nicki Minaj there, he also talks about going on a date with Tatiana Ali, who played Ashley on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The Fresh Prince is at dinner with Tatiana, no lie. All these 90s fantasies on my mind. The differences that were mine, they all come true in due time. Then there's someone who he actually was in a relationship with and even started a different beef with Common, Serena Williams. On worst behavior, he says, Then it's back to LA, open the mail, staring at the check. Enough to make you thought, man, it's gross what I net. I'm with my whole set, tennis matches at the crib. I swear I could be Serena when she playing with her left. Oh. And then, most recently, it doesn't seem like he was the biggest fan of her marriage because he seemingly, out of nowhere, called out her husband for being a groupie. Sidebar, Serena, your husband a groupie. He claim we don't got a problem, but no boo it is like you coming for sushi. We might pop up on him at will like Suzuki. And of course, we have Rihanna. One of my baddest women ever, I call her Rihanna. But that's cause her name is Rihanna. But that's for a whole other video. In fact, we did a whole video on all of the times that rappers have name dropped Rihanna, including half the video being about Drake. So you can check that out after this if you're interested. But it's not all famous women. Sometimes Drake looks back at his old loves who were kind of nameless before he put them in a song. Like on Look What You've Done, which is one of my favorite Drake songs, he referenced his relationship with Nebby and Jade. It's like 09 in your basement and I'm in love with Nebby. And I still love her, but it fell through because I wasn't ready. It's like 06 in your backyard, I'm in love with Jade. And I'm still in love just when it's that real, when it doesn't fade. Jade might be referencing Jade Lee, who's the same wedding planner ex that Drake rapped about on karaoke. Isn't it ironic that the girl I want to marry is a wedding planner and tells me my life is too much and then moves to Atlanta? He also mentioned someone named Tammy with a purple Bentley on Fancy. Mature women with more than me were the first to tempt me. And Jason had this girl Tammy with a purple Bentley. How she got it, I ain't never get to ask. I guess we'll never know how she got the purple Bentley, and we'll probably never know which one of Drake's exes really confronted him about the lyrics. But all we do know is that they made for some great songs. And this isn't even mentioning all of the subliminal bars that he's had about women over the years. But what's your favorite Drake lyric about a girl? And what is the one that we miss? Because I'm sure there is a lot of them. For Hip Hop DX, I'm Jeremy Act. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.